greatest shortage today is coal. The Ministry of Fuel and Power looked round for ways of saving it. They found one way on the railways. A great deal could be saved there. As a temporary measure, all railways were asked to follow the example of the Great Western and convert 1,200 engines over to oil burning. To convert an engine, the whole boiler must be lifted out so that the oil jet can be fitted. Though small, it will supply all the heat required for an express locomotive. The engine won't need any more coal, so they take out the coal bunker from the tender and put in an oil tank. When coupled up, the job's done. Coal means a lot of hard, dirty work. Before refueling, the fire must be drawn, and that means breaking up clinkers from the tons of coal burnt during the day. Then the soot has to be taken out of the firebox under the funnel. Another dirty job. It takes three men to manhandle about 70 tons of coal a shift to re-coal 30 engines. Tough, eh? Then the fire must be lit again, using oily waste, wood and coal. Out on the track and still more work. The fireman shovels a ton of coal every 50 miles. And he must close the fire door after each shovelful to keep out the cold air. With the conversion to oil, all hard work goes. And refueling time is cut down to a third. The engine drives up like a car. The fireman connects the oil pipe. A turn of a tap and the oil pumps in, just like that. A little steam from a neighbouring engine, blown through the burner, atomizes the oil. A small wad of burning waste and the fire is alight. It's as simple as lighting a gas jet. When the train's on the track, it's the same story. No hard work for the farmer. He sits twiddling the knobs to meet his driver's needs. More oil for more steam on the gradients, less oil when they reach the top. When this conversion is complete, a million tons of coal a year will be saved and can be directed to the factories and the homes.